Hello, everyone. It's Steve with Up Here Owners Club. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, today, I saw some of the most exciting news I've seen about Aptera in a long time. So um, if you guys have been watching this channel, you know that I believe that Aptera is an amazing vehicle. It's a wonderful idea. I think the team at Aptera is really good. The engineers are awesome. Marketing people are good. Chris and Steve are great founders and they're working hard. And the only thing I'm worried about is that will they run out of money before they make it to uh, production? And I had a video a few days ago, or was it a week ago? I forget. But anyway, the, in their SEC filing, they said they needed an additional $50 million at least to make it to uh, production. And in today's economic situation where capital is hard to come by, it was going to be very difficult for them to find uh, $50 million. Um, but today, August 24th, 2022, this was the announcement from the California Energy Commission. On, on March 2022, the California Energy Commission released a grant solicitation and grant application entitled GFO 21-6050 Emission Transportation and Manufacturing. They originally had about $60 million to fund agreements, but they are proposing to um, award an additional $124 million for a total of $184 million. These are grants. These are not loans. They're giving money away. And basically the way it works is when you apply for a grant, they put out a solicitation. They say, this is what we're granting money for. Put in your application. Then they score it and they give it to the people that get the highest scores. Um, so this is what they did. And so initially they were going to fund these four people, Gillig, Char uh, ChargePoint, First Element, and Moxion Power, because um, they had four categories. They had a zero emission vehicle category, a zero emission vehicle infrastructure category, a zero emission vehicle components category, and a zero emission vehicle batteries category. Um, so they were gonna, the top scores in all those categories were going to get, um, uh, get, get the money basically. And this is how much money they were gonna get. However, since they are now proposing to give an additional 124 million, they were gonna give the highest scored um, people, no matter the category, until the money runs out. And so these are now the proposed ones. So we got BYD, Aptera, Symbio, Wiggins, American Lithium Corporation, Zimeo, Qberg, and Sparks. These made the cut. So these were the highest scores. And then these did not make, these are the companies that did not make the cut. So the, the, the amazing news is, is Aptera is most likely getting $22 million as a grant, not a loan. So this does not dilute investors because it's not a equity sale. It does, they, they don't have to pay it back. It's $22 million. Uh, so that's amazing. That's like more than 40% of the way there. And they are gonna raise some money from small investors. Um, at this point, I think that the chances of Aptera making it to production have gone up a, a huge amount because this is a big chunk. And then now if some big investors see this, they might be more inclined to go in. And then of course they're gonna release Gamma and so forth. Everything we've seen about Gamma looks amazing. That will maybe um, get more investors involved. And the other thing that makes me uh, kind of more hopeful is that this was a competitive grant and they were up against big companies. Um, so this is, let's, yeah, let's look at some of the companies that got it. Okay, so let's look at this. Gillig. So what is Gillig? Okay, so we'll look at this. Um, Gillig is a, a large, they, they're a manufacturer of large buses. They control about 31% of the US market. This is a big company. They've been around since the late 1800s. So it's a really big company. They're, uh, they've been around in uh, the Bay Area since about 1890 and they build these um, buses and they're getting a fund, they're getting money to basically uh, build out a manufacturing plant. So they're getting $30 million to build out a manufacturing plant 
to build these uh, battery operated, um, these battery electric buses, which I think is great. I think buses are a perfect um, vehicle for getting uh, electrification because usually they go really slow. They stop a lot. They start and stop a lot. They idle a lot. So they're, they're just, they're, they're really good. That and, you know, postal service vehicles are perfect for electric vehicles. So this is a large company that's been around for a long time. And they obviously one they had the most competitive application. And I think the application process probably awards the places where they think that they're going to be the most successful. That's I'm guessing, that's my speculation, is that the people that scored these grants, they were scoring it based on how successful do, you, do we think that these companies are going to be. Like if we give them the money, are they going to actually produce a product to improve the energy profile of the state of California? And they, so obviously a bigger company with a track record is going to get a higher score. The other companies that they got were this first element company. This is a company that's making um, hydrogen fuels. The other company they got is Moxion. Moxion, I've never heard of them, but basically their uh, business model is they are trying to replace d diesel and gas generators for uh, construction and other kinds of like uh, mobile um, companies. So replace those with battery packs. And so they're the they're a very small company actually. They uh, have raised only thirteen million dollars. So the money that they're getting from this is going to be huge for them, because let's see, they're getting uh, fifteen million dollars. So that's more than they've raised total in the company the lifetime of their company. They are a private company with less than fifty employees. They're a startup. They are a smaller company than Aptera even. And then the other companies that got. Uh, awarded was BYD and BYD is uh, is this company BYD is actually a Chinese company but they have this bus manufacturing plant in Lancaster California and uh, there you know BYD is the second largest manufacturer of electric vehicles in the world after Tesla by volume uh, they have revenues of over 40 billion dollars a year so, I mean, if you think about it that way, number there's two ways of thinking about it. One, and then, you know, ChargePoint is one of the largest um, uh, charging networks. By a total number of chargers, they are the largest charging network. They have far more chargers than Tesla does even. Um, most of them are level two chargers. So um, Tesla does have the largest fast charging network in the country, but ChargePoint has the largest network. So ChargePoint is a very big company. Uh, Gillig is a very big and old company. Uh, these two are small companies, Moxion and First Element. BYD is a huge global company. And these are the companies that um, Aptera was up against and Aptera did very well as a startup. Um, so I think that bodes well. And I think that this actually bodes well for their uh, ATVM loan. So the Advanced uh, uh, Technology Vehicle Manufacturing Loan that the, uh, that the federal government is handing out. Now that's a loan, not a grant. And uh, Aptera applied for about $150 million of that. I think this, the, the fact that they won this grant makes me think that their chances of uh, getting the ATVM loan are kind of not bad. So if they get that ATVM loan and this grant, I think we're in the clear. Like their, their money troubles are kind of behind them. And basically it won't be money, but engineering or some logistical problem that, that, is their biggest problem. Right now, I think their biggest issue is financing. And this grant goes a long way to kind of uh, mitigating that risk and that, uh, that problem for them. Um, the, me personally, I kind of wish as a California taxpayer myself, I think that the grant should go to the places where it will make the biggest difference. And I don't know that giving money to Gillig or BYD makes a big difference. Like BYD is a $40 billion Chinese company. They're gonna build this manufacturing plant if it makes business sense to them, whether or not California gives them $20 million. $20 million makes zero difference to them. They're gonna do this thing regardless of whether, what happens to the grant. Uh, same thing with Gillig. Gillig's a big company. Um, I mean, they're not nearly as big as BYD, but they were gonna do what they're gonna do regardless of what 
of what California did in giving them a grant. So I don't think the grants that California gave them made any difference, really. I mean, maybe it did a little bit. Um, but for you know places like Moxion, this is this is this is game changer for them. This is really going to help them advance their business, and this business is probably good. Um, I'm not a big fan of hydrogen fuel cells because I think um, they're they're not the way to go. But you know maybe I'm wrong, and this will make a big difference for them. And for Aptera, it's huge. It makes a huge difference to Aptera. If they took the money they gave to BYD and gave it to Aptera, I mean that would that would be huge. So personally, I would have liked that. And of course, I'm a totally unbiased person <laughs> um, running an Aptera uh, fan channel. Um, but I think Aptera sh sh would have been better to give more money to Aptera, less money to big companies where it doesn't matter. Like BYD, come on. It's a Chinese company with $40 billion in revenue. Why do they need m my taxpayer money? I I'm not sure. Um, sure, they are making uh, the stuff in Lancaster, California. And then we have local workers and that's that's fine. But I think they were going to do this anyway. That's my point. Anyways, I think this um, zero emission uh, transportation manufacturing grant was amazing. My kudos to whoever at Aptera wrote this grant. You guys did a great job. I didn't even know that this thing was this thing was happening. Obviously, someone at Aptera knew it was happening. They the submission deadline was June 27th and they've already scored and announced the awardees. Uh, that is the fastest turnover for a government grant I've ever heard of. It's less than two months. It's crazy. Um, usually, uh, like I, I, I work in um, life sciences, and the grant cycles for for life sciences are in like six to seven months cycles. So it takes that long to get uh, grants for uh, for like biomedical research. Um, so a, a less than two month turnaround cycle to scoring is pretty amazing. Anyways. This is the best news that uh, that we could have about Aptera. I think this really, really significantly increases the chances of them uh, making it to production, delivering cars, because money is the biggest problem for startups, especially now. It's always a big problem, um, even when, when capital is easy to come by. And uh, especially now when capital is hard to come by, it's, um, it's hard, but they've got a $22 million grant from California that's almost definitely happening. I think the meeting that's coming up to approve this is made, is just basically rubber stamping it. And then I think this bodes well for the ATVM loan. If they get that, we're totally in the clear. Um, and then also I think that this gives a lot of confidence to, uh, to big investors uh, to who see now that it's a little less risky and they're more likely to invest. So I think this combined with the Gamma release that's coming up in a couple of weeks um, is really good. I'm sure everyone at Aptera is breathing a sigh of relief and feels great about this. And uh, us as uh, future owners, we should be very happy about it too. Okay, so I look forward to your comments below. Thanks again to our supporting members as always and uh, have a great day, everyone.